Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome to this week's vlog. I am starting the vlog a little bit early in the day because today is a very exciting, a little bit nerve wracking day. I'm honestly pretty nervous if, I, if, I'm, if I'm being transparent, but in T minus one hour, we are launching Jancy the label and I have no idea what to expect. I um, <laughs> spent this morning on the phone with our website provider asking them all the worst case scenario questions because what are you gonna scratch? Because last night I woke up with like all of these scenarios that could go wrong. Like I called them, asked them like, what if the payment is taking a while to process before it goes through? Will the inventory be updated immediately in case like a, multiple people are on the site at once? I don't want two people to try to buy the last thing at the same time and then both of them go through, but we only really had one left and like all of these different things. I just need to trust God and know that if anything does go wrong, we'll figure it out. And hopefully if anything does go wrong, people will have grace and patience with me since this is my first time doing this and like figuring all this out. So I'm excited, I'm nervous, today's the day. I figured I should take you along with the ride and at least document this because one day, if Jancy the Label is successful in 10 years from now, I can be like, look at the day I launched. I filmed it and I have it, which is, which is cool. I'm very, very nervous. Also, today is a busy work day. I have committed. To... You wanna go in the closet? Here, come here. Come here. He loves to go in the closet, it's so weird. I've committed to a ton of different videos, which has been awesome because it's been a lot of bonus content, but some of them working with brands, some of them just concepts that I've had in the works for a long time, like thread up, you could see back there in like a massive subscription box unboxing, I have like 15 <laughs> sitting over there. So like a lot of these things that I'm excited to film um, and just to stay on schedule, I should film something today, but I don't know if I'll have time to with everything else going on. So I'm probably gonna have to shoot and film and work tomorrow, Saturday. So it's just like trying to figure all that out. It's gonna be a busy weekend, a work filled weekend, but I'm excited to have you along for the ride with me. Max needs to, he wants to go. You want to go? Okay, I'm gonna let you out. So, that being said, my plans is I'm just going to work and edit until the launch happens and stay by my computer to oversee that for a while before doing the other things I wanna to do today, which is like workout, laundry. What other work things do I have going on today? And a lot of editing. I'm so nervous, okay, here we go. I am editing a video right now and we're T minus 19 minutes away. I'm so nervous. Every time I remember, my stomach goes like <laughs> <laughs> We're less than two minutes away. I need to like start editing the Instagram bio for Jancy the Label and add the website in, which I'm really surprised that no one's clicked on it yet because it's literally jancythelabel.com and I feel like people would try that. Uh oh. Wait, you can't edit the profile? Uh oh. Okay. I hope it's safe. <laughs> Did you get the label.com? Please save, please save, please save. It's not saving. Oh, it says, please wait a few minutes. There you go. Did it save? Does it work? I'm so nervous. Okay, it worked. I bet you more people are gonna access this mobily than on the website, and it looks a lot better on the website. I have the post saved into drafts. Do you wanna proofread it real quick? It's good. It's 12. Go! Ah! Max, it's been shared. It's it's loading. There's no going back now, Max. Ah. Oh my gosh, it's up. I'm gonna share it to my story too. What thing should I put over it? That works. And then I have a draft saved on my Instagram too. Max is excited. Are you excited, Max? That hopefully will replenish all the emergency funds I tapped into, <laughs> hopefully. You like it, thanks. Good job. Now I gotta start looking at my email and the Jancy the Label email. We're live, Max, we're live. We're live, Max, we're live. Live, live, live. <laughs> look at him in the mirror. Uh, look at him in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. I've never felt more anxious. Feel my heart rate. It's good. Cutie booty. Okay, I'm so scared. How long do you think until we get our first sale? Never sold anything before. It's only been two minutes. We'll update you when our first sale comes in. I think I should just get an email when it happens. Max says, hurry up. 
Oh. What the heck? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> he is a fur ball. I got a sale! What? Who? Mary Rose. Mary Rose, if you're watching this, you were the first sale. Ohio. <sighs> wow. Oh, we did it. We're a business. <laughs> Yay, really Max! Yay, Max! Yay, Max! I should have had coffee yeah, this morning. Yay, yeah, Max! <laughs> I'm so scared. What if things go wrong? I got two more sales! <laughs> I got six more sales! Hold up, what? Uh, Jessica's next. I told you. And then Emily, and then and then Katie, and then and then Kiara, and then and then Taylor. Max has hiccups. <laughs> this, is, this is crazy! Did you know dogs could get hiccups? No! He has hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one! <laughs> Natalie! I've never had somebody that has hiccups. I've never had a dog have hiccups before. I've never <laughs> felt this shaky in my life. <laughs> Him either. This is pure chaos. I'm sorry if I shook you. Too oh my much. gosh! In the last two minutes, we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sales. Do you think we're gonna? Do you think you're gonna sell out pre-sale? I I don't know. I I have no idea what to expect. I really hope the inventory is actually updating because that is my biggest fear, and that's what I spent the morning on the phone with, making them confirm with me. And so I'm just gonna trust them, but I'm so scared. You should, uh, you have the initial numbers, right? Yeah. In, in like, Check. In like, <gasps> There's another one! After you see, like, I don't know. Molly! <laughs> Sorry, what? Molly Wexler. Does that sound familiar? That sounds really familiar. She's from Did Tennessee. Did she win something before? I don't think so. <laughs> um, you should check it when it's, uh, like, after, like, Hannah another. Fullerton, Irvine. That's right, he went to college. But yes, I should check there's another one! <laughs> How long am I gonna go on this vlog just yelling there's another one? Kayla from Kansas, there's another one. I'm just sitting here watching orders come in, holding Max, and Max is like, let me go. And I'm like, hold me, hold me. He looks like he's seen a ghost. Hello, this is wild. We've had 30 orders already. That's crazy, Max. That's crazy. I told Burke I feel like I've drank like 10 cups of coffee. Okay, okay, you can hop down. You can go if you want to. Man, today has been wild. <laughs> um, but I did finish editing another video and I'm going to do a little at-home workout. I don't feel like doing a crazy at-home workout today. So I'm just gonna maybe do some like crunches and stretching and kind of my own thing. I've actually been using the Sweat app this week and I've liked it, but I've never actually completed a whole workout. I do like three of the four circuits and then I'm like, yeah, I'm good, <laughs> if I'm being honest. But I think I will feel good to move a little bit and then shower, because I feel disgusting. So those are my plans. Made my matcha, um, but funny story. So we haven't ordered Postmates technically since my birthday, which was now six weeks ago, and I'm really proud of that fact. We did get barbecue that one vlog, but with a gift card, so we didn't pay for it. And Brooke was like, oh, I really want pizza. And I was like, we should have a launch party for Dance of the Label, order Postmates. There's a place down the street from us that has pizza he likes, but then also has like salad and veggies and like really yummy things that I like. So I started to look on Postmates. Mind you, two things. Brooke has really wanted to make bread because that's what everyone's doing. And, but we haven't been able to find real flour anywhere. And also we keep almost running out of Oatly, which without Oatly, can't make matcha lattes, but obviously that's like not essential, so I wouldn't go out just for that. But we looked on Postmates and they are selling pantry essentials from this pizza place. And one of the things on there is oatly and another thing on there is flour and they also have random things like vegan cheese and like all of this random groceries that you can actually order from postmates from the restaurant so for one delivery fee we can order our dinner tonight and the groceries that we've been longing for but don't want to like make a trip out for just for those couple of things because that's not fair you know so i'm so excited and i got a five dollar coupon so basically free delivery i also think tonight i want to do a little bit of like a self-care night, us girls. Okay, 
So I am going to do a few things just to make today feel like a happy day. Um, the first of which is put on just a little bit of makeup. A lot of days I don't want to put on like a full face of makeup just because I don't want to take the time, but also like putting on a little bit of makeup is something fun and like makes me feel like put together in a way. So step one, done. I think also today should be a dress day. I haven't worn a dress in like weeks, weeks, and it's getting warm outside. So I'm gonna find a dress, I'm gonna put it on. I'll be back after step two. We could do step three for a little happy mini self-care refresh for the day. Got on a dress and I got a husband and a dog that are just cuddling on the floor. Kisses. Two kisses. Ugh. Wait, I changed my mind. I wanna wear this one because it's flowier and flowiness makes me happy. Step three to make myself happy and tiny little self-care break is going to be to pick up my room because that's always like the most satisfying thing. So please enjoy. So just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building cat mystery I don't think I ever want to go Come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to Wow, it's bright in here. My room is clean, cute boys on the ground. And what step are we on? Step step four, I think, is I am actually going to whiten my teeth because it's been about a week since I've done it last. And coincidentally enough, today's vlog is sponsored by High Smile and I've told y'all about them before, but that was quite a while ago and I've been using them for a long time. So I wanted to give you a little update and we can whiten my teeth together. So High Smile, I started using them as an honest review. I used them for like four months to be able to give you all my honest thoughts on them. And I ended up actually really liking them and continuing to use them, which is what happens with a lot of my honest reviews. Because after purchasing this thing, this ended up being significantly cheaper than what I was doing, which is like those strips that you buy at the store. And this causes significantly less sensitivity. I have super sensitive teeth. I can't even hear people chew ice because it hurts my teeth. So I have loved this because it actually is formulated to not bother your teeth, which has been amazing. So I should do this more often. I realistically do this about once a week when I think about it, but whenever I do do it, I always feel just like refreshed and revived. And that's what I'm trying to focus on right now, especially being stuck at home. It's, I found it to be significantly more beneficial for me to focus on little like self-care things and little hygiene things because it's just for me. It's not for any other reason. So I feel like almost a higher satisfaction when I do it. So I have a little half a syringe left, which you use half a syringe per application. I'm gonna put a quarter of the syringe on the top, a quarter of the syringe on the bottom, and I'm just gonna put it in my mouth, turn on the light, and after 10 minutes, the light will automatically turn off. So I'm gonna do this while I edit a little bit. And I guess Brooke's just gonna continue to lay on the floor right here. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he comes. <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Do my teeth look whiter? Yes. <laughs> Do they actually? Yes. <laughs> Do they actually? Oh my, no, 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 I think they do. So that is legitimately what I've been using to whiten my teeth for, I think, since before we've moved in here. How long have we lived in this apartment? September. Since September? Wow, for like eight months now, because it was a month or two living in our old spot. That's crazy. So thank you, Hi Smile, for sponsoring today's vlog. I love you, and if anybody, I know I get asked all the time what I use to whiten my teeth, so it's nice to be able to remind y'all if you never saw that honest review, and I will link it down below. Brooke knows he's in trouble because he's making Making so much noise. Max, I told him to turn his phone off. <laughs> yeah. These are bad, Max. Yeah, come on, Max. Turn off your phone. Ugh. Are you looking forward to ordering pizza tonight? I told him about the groceries. Very excited about pizza. Me too. I actually really see a big difference in my teeth right now. I haven't done that in probably too long. It feels nice. Guys, literally, look at all of this mess. It's wild. There's so much going on right now. And I've been in this room all day, every day. It's been, it gets really bright at this time of day. It's been 
the best having um, a nice bright room to work in. I actually posted a poll on Instagram asking if other people are like super affected by lighting in a room in terms of productivity and like 60 something percent of people said yes and I thought I was alone because I tried to google it and see if there is any sort of like psychological definition to where not like necessarily even just my mood I know that like bright light can make you feel like happier like serotonin but just in terms of productivity I couldn't find anything so it was cool to see so many other people answer that. I feel like this has been a very chatty vlog, sorry it's not been a very active vlog, um, but there's not a lot to do until we at least post make dinner, that's something. But I have a secret that I want to tell y'all. <laughs> it's, it's like this goal that I have and this crazy idea that I had that might be risky and might be irresponsible, but I kind of want to do it. Hopefully my bosses don't watch this, I don't think they will. I don't think they will, but my social media jobs, though I'm so thankful for them and though it's a steady income source, it has been a little more difficult than I initially thought. Just the expectation of having to respond to like everything that goes on the account so quickly because I feel like I always have to be checking that and not giving my full attention 100% to everything else I'm doing. And I am contractually obligated to have a certain number of engagement each month organically, whether that be a certain number of followers that I have to hit every single month. The engagement rates can't go down and they have been going down even though I've been spending like four hours a day on these accounts. And so not having like concrete tasks, more of like, oh, just keep doing this until you get the result you want type of thing has been a little bit frustrating for me when I have so many things that I want to work on for my own business. So obviously during this quarantine, I've been putting out significantly more content and because of that, like my views have gone up. And so I think that there's a real potential to increase my own earnings here. I also don't know though, but it's just my views have gone up also because people are at home and they have more time to watch YouTube. But I did the math and if I commit to four videos a week, hypothetically, if I average out my AdSense over the last like three months, and take what I make on average per video and did an extra video a week, I would then make up for what my social media jobs pay exactly. So I'm kind of considering committing to four videos a week on YouTube and quitting social media because that is way more fun for me and I'm completely in charge of my own schedule 100% again. <laughs> Hopefully it should even out pay wise but it's also riskier because now a hundred percent of my pay would be dependent month to month on views and such as opposed to having some steady income so i don't know it seems really risky but i wanted to verbalize it as a goal because no matter what i want to try to be have this be my only revenue stream besides like jancy the label and acting but that's like less that's less further out you know in a maximum of six months but i kind of want to like feel it out for a month or so, once the world gets back to normal, try to continue to do four videos if I can. It's, it'll be hard once auditions and stuff start back up and see if I can commit to four videos a week and justify dropping my social media jobs. That's my secret. <laughs> it's just me dreaming. I'm always like crazy dreaming about big things. And this vlog has been so long of me just talking to you. I should rename this vlog to like chatty a very chatty vlog, because that's what it is. Hopefully it's not annoying. I love you. What I'm doing too is I am editing some videos for my church. I've been helping out with that. They've been obviously putting out a lot of extra content and they need people to edit it. And since I know how to edit things roughly, <laughs> I've been helping out with that. So I'm gonna send this over and I'll pick up the camera next time something interesting happens when I don't just talk at you. How does it sound? <laughs> Okay, it is 5.30. Normally on these work from home days, I work until 6.37, give or take, until I like, clock out. I also usually start work at like 7 a.m. So I guess it's a 12 hour day now that I'm thinking about it. I never really thought about that until now. But since tomorrow, I normally try to take off Saturdays, but I have so much left to do um, that I'm just gonna treat tomorrow like a normal work day, but because of work-life balance, I'm clocking off now at 5.30. I'm just gonna forget about it for the rest of the night. There's even some like important contracts I need to sign and just now I tried to sign them and it wasn't working. So I was like, I'm gonna deal with it tomorrow, tomorrow. So 
Time for some, some fun things. Uh, Brooke has been playing Animal Crossings for me a lot, which is honestly kind of great because he'll go catch new things and sell it and then I have the money to decorate the house. So that's great. But I'm probably gonna play that for a little bit. Sat down to play Animal Crossings and it said low battery. So I reached over for the charger and somebody ate it. <laughs> so I ordered a new one on Amazon Prime, but the soonest it will be delivered is in a week. So it looks like I'm gonna be a lot more productive this next week and a little more sad as well. Also another first world problem. We ordered Postmates an hour and a half ago. When was that? What time did we order Postmates? Like an hour ago. Like an hour ago. And it's now seven o'clock and it still says pending for 644 with no updates. And we're like, is Postmates broken? <laughs> So that being said, the other thing I need to do tonight is fold laundry and I don't want to, so I am going to try to see if I can create an ad for Dance of the Label, which I think means I need to create a Facebook page for it to be able to promote it on Instagram. So I guess I'm gonna work even though I said I wasn't gonna work, but it's fun work. Well, we're gonna go pick up our own roadside food and Brooke wanted to bring Max and wanted to bring Max without a leash, which I think is a really bad idea, but apparently wants to hold him like a baby. <laughs> Migs. Baby. <laughs> you're so spoiled. <laughs> uh, I'm still mad at you for eating my cord. But you're cute. What's in your face? What is that? That pink stuff right there? What is it? excited for pizza we also bought things in bulk like they just sold cookie dough so we got cookie dough for Brooke to make cookies Brooke wanted ranch but they were only selling some of their other sauces in bulk but on Postmates there was an option to add a side of ranch but they were selling like quarts of their sauces so I ordered a quart of pesto and I wrote sub ranch if possible <laughs> so I'll oh ouch <laughs> we might end up with a um, with a quart of ranch, that'd be fun. But, and we might end up with a quart of pesto, which is also great, because I love pesto. I have a ton of veggies that I can make and I can just coat them in pesto. Oh, thanks. Oh, you need to cut your claws, dude. I don't know how though. <laughs> okay, things are going well. We're gonna be calm. I know, you wanna get out. So do I, but we're gonna limit the number of people out in the world, because that's a responsible thing to do. <laughs> this is really going well. I need to buckle you back up because this is not gonna work in the parking lot. I'm gonna leave you buckled at all times in the car, even when we're not moving. <laughs> you don't know car manners. Oh, well, at least he's not stepping on me. Oh, there's a text. I knew it was Brooke. <laughs> he said, he said, you really messed them up with the pesto. Uh-oh. <laughs> We'll see what happens. <laughs> Brooke is very excited <laughs> at this amount of cookie dough. <laughs> How many cookies can you make with that? Mm, a lot of cookies. I think you can make like two dozen with that, honestly. <laughs> okay, for the actual food, we got Brooke's pizza. We'll ignore this for now. Um, what is this? Could take home cocktails and family meals. Serves for for $45. That's really good actually. Multiple ranches. This must be my cauliflower. Wait, where's the chili stuff that's supposed to be on it? That's this my salad. 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 Really looks very that's delicious. the vegan cashew cheese steak. Mmm, yum. And these are my breads. Those are your breads. Oh, those look bomb. Those look like cinnamon rolls. Pizza, pizza. Ooh, fancy pizza. You watching Criminal Minds with Dad? Yes. How are your cookies, Dad? They're good? Oh, you already ate it all? We're folding laundry. Brick folded his way faster than I folded mine because look how much clothes I go through even during quarantine. Oh my word. What do you think of my hairstyle? Pretty cute. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. This is gonna be a one day extravaganza since this vlog was so chatty and since tomorrow is basically a work day for me, I'm gonna be filming all day, filming other things. So it's gonna be hard to double film. That being said, I hope you enjoyed this very long yet very brief 
vlog. That makes no sense, you know what I'm saying. I love y'all with my absolute whole heart. I love just getting to hang out and chat with you. It's like my favorite thing. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye.